Hi guys, it's me Jimmy A Razer. I just announced their gaming console which costs you 99 bucks. It's called Razer Forge. Basically, Razer Forge is an Android gaming system. To be honest with you, the future is not in PS4 or Xbox One or even the PS5 or the Xbox 3 or the Xbox, whatever it will be the next Xbox. The gaming is on the small devices which are easily connected with our TV which are Android based most of the time we are playing the games over on our smartphone or on our tablet so if you wanna continue the game I mean we can just log into our account on a small some kind of box which costs are really nothing 99 bucks and then connect to the computer just back few years there was a 99 dollar conservative so I go oh yeah something like oh yeah oh yeah oh yeah it was really not sexy it was some kind of a box from outer space but this new Razer Forge basically is so sexy. I like the green logo and plus it's built by Razer. Razer is a really good company. It will cost you a lot of money. So you will be thinking Jimmy tell us the crap what's inside. It's have a Snapdragon. It's have a Snapdragon 80 processor. Sorry, 805 processor. It's a basically a Snapdragon. It's a Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor which is a, which is a 2.5 gigahertz with a GPU of uh, Adreno 420. Sorry, basically with a GPU of Adreno 420 GPU. Basically good basically if Razer have wait a few months and then have installed I mean basically give us a CPU which is a new upcoming CPU 2.7 gigahertz uh, call construct uh, snapdragon 810 or 810 whatever hell you wanna call it it would be much better but Snapdragon A05 is better than nothing I will say and then Adreno 420 GPU with a 2 giga wrap here is a uh, here reason really need to be careful basically basically the gaming future in android is 4 gigahertz ram basically the new s galaxy 6 is coming with 4 gig of ram click here to watch my dad video about 4 gig of ram even the samsung is mass producing 8 gig and 6 gig of ram basically 2 or 3 gig is outdated to be honest with you really re need a lot of RAM to multitask basically one of the things that you are running multiple things you are running your calling service application on your mobile phone or in your basic whatever the hell you are running you are running a lot of the background applications so most of the time more than 1 gig RAM is taken by that kind of crap application at the end of the day you have nearly 1 gig or around 500 to 800 MB megabyte RAM left for the gaming so why you need more RAM? In a quick note, I will tell you. Just watch my video about buying the graphic card for a RAM. This will give you some kind of basic understanding why more RAM is important. For example, if I am playing a RPG game, so if I wanna look far distant, I need more RAM to render more frame. Basically, RAM is one of the most fastest. I mean, uh, RAM. Basically, which can render thing our normal space or hard drive. Basically, we download a full 2 GB or 10 GB application or our Android gaming system. But that kind of hard drive is slow compared to RAM. RAM is it render quick as hell basically. So if you have more RAM, you can render more frame. So I will say it's okay. Basically, I know the Razer will announce their next. I mean, Forge. Forge is a really stupid name. Anyways. Basically, by 2016, Razer will come with the second edition of Ford. I hope so. It will take, or basically, if you wanna buy this, it will come only with the console or the small box and 99 bucks, 99 US dollar. If you wanna buy it with the wireless Bluetooth controller, which costs you only only around uh, 149 US dollar 149 bucks I will say basically this is going to compete with the uh, basically the Amazon Apple sorry not the Apple Amazon Fire TV basically they're gonna compete basically Amazon Fire TV is very successful even the gaming that I mean their controller is really awesome I have to be honest we play with that controller I really like it Basically, Razer is saying that it's gonna be a hardcore gaming experience for the Android gamer. I don't know it's gonna be hardcore or not. Basically, Android gamer are not hardcore. Even the Call of Duty gamer are not hardcore gamer according to the Call of Duty publisher. We really don't know what is the definition of a hardcore gamer. Basically, to to me, the hardcore hardcore gamer is who play open world game. For you, you can any definition you want. You can choose and pick. I really can't grab this hardcore gaming definition from Razer. It's okay. Anyway, it's I have 16 gig. I mean internal storage with a 2.5 gigahertz snap uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 805 processor with Adreno 420 for 99 bucks. And then we, we wanna get a controller bundle. It will cost you 149 bucks. 
basically is good but ps4 the playstation 4 is going to lower their price at 299 so it means will you buy a play ps4 for 299 bucks or you will you buy a razor forge for 149 bucks of course you will get a 149 bundle if you want to play gaming on it let's see how it will end basically we really don't know yes indeed the future is on in the android gaming but android gaming is not for hardcore gamer hardcore gamer basically hardcore gamer are on a pc on a ps4 on the xbox one let's see that is my quick rant review basically it's gonna compete with the amazon fire tv this is called razor uh, basically it's called razor force tv let's see basically the same same price for app uh, basically the amazon fire tv come at 99 us dollar and then you have to buy a wireless controller for 39 us dollar which at the end of the day cost you only around 139 us dollar compared to the razor 149 so that's all about my stupid run subscribe to my channel it's me jimmy again if you are really know why more ram is important just watch my video click here to watch it bye bye